it's Monday, on the fourth week of Ordinary Time. It's the first day of February, the second month of this year. This is the day of the Divine Providence. To ask the Divine Providence to provide for us house, health, food, work. And let us consecrate to the Lord all this month of February. Remember, on February the 17th, we will begin Lenten season with Ash Wednesday. And the Gospel today is taken from St. Mark, chapter 5, verse 1 to 20. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasene. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tomb, who had an unclean spirit, met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up, and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High? God, I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, A clean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from the territory. Now, a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside. And they pleaded with him, send us into the swine. Let us enter them. And he led them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about two thousand rushed rushed down a steep bank into the sea, where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there, clothed and in his right mind and they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus could not permit him but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. You have to keep in mind, reading this passage, what we read yesterday Sunday, when Jesus went to the synagogue Capernaum and expelled an unclean spirit, and the clean spirit knew who Jesus was. Now this is the same, same story, but here Jesus is in a pagan territory. And what Jesus did in the Capernaum was part of the Jewish territory, now that he does in the pagans. Jesus is a conqueror of demons at the end. And maybe, maybe Mark wants to say, the the, the 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 pagan the Gentiles were under the destructive power of the evil one at the end. If you notice how the situation was very sad, very complicated, the man was possessed either by one or by a legion. He was kind of a crazy when he was in the tomb, been in the tomb and wandering around at night was a sign of craziness. And he was hurting himself. He was in such a bad situation. And when Jesus intervenes at the end, 
then you can see the dif the difference now the man was in his right mind sitting there close the difference and i think they said that this is one of the most enigma enigmatic gospel miracles at the end mark really goes into the situation the, on the other side you see the situation of the of the man possessed with a clean spirit on the other side you have jesus jesus speaks very little he just asks what is your name first thing and then he commands at the end of the gospel he commands the man to go to his family jesus has power like we heard yesterday sunday no jesus had the power to expel unclean spirits at the end jesus doesn't need to do anything any magic he just told shh, shh, be quiet get out jesus has the power what is at the end what is at the end the purpose of this passage at the end no? is it, it is about liberation it's jesus came to liberate us from sin it's the first miracle again that we read yesterday it is from a sin the sin always creates chaos in our lives it doesn't create create anything nice and when jesus comes into our lives there is return to peace to serenity at the end we are liberated at the end but we are liberated from something then to be sent to we are liberated from the evil ones to be sent to preach the good news maybe that the idea is to of this passage is to be a missionary passage for the gentiles the gentiles who are liberated from the evil ones so they have to proclaim the good news of the gospel of jesus christ no? like what jesus says go home to your family and announce to them all that the lord in his pity had done for you and that man who was possessed he began to announce to proclaim in the decapolis the good news of the lord then there are two the small details no? the people there in the village ask jesus to get away and they said that maybe symbolizes how the christian missionaries were not accepted they were expelled like paul many times was expelled from the from the places because they didn't want the message of jesus christ let us allow jesus to free us from to liberate us from sin from our own evil inclinations so that when we are liberated we can announce the good news that the lord has done and remember tomorrow tomorrow is the feast of the presentation of the lord we bear, we bless the candles tomorrow tuesday so this is mass eight o'clock in english and 7 p.m in spanish and also we celebrate the feast day of our lady of saint john our lady of san juan de los lagos and also the, a day of prayer for consecrated life have a blessed Monday, a blessed beginning of this second month of the year.